is our uh, health policy and then political reform. My job as Vice President of External and Government Relations for CHW was to um, uh, manage, be the point person on health care reform. 2,700 pages of something cross-referenced with another 5,000 pages of something and uh, what we're doing now, both including us and Congress and the administration is trying to figure out just what was accomplished. Essentially it creates a nearly universal health care system through doing a couple of different things. And one major piece of this, about half of it is done through expanding the Medicaid program. Starting in 2014, about half of the roughly 30, 32 million people that are going to be covered are covered because they now have access to Medicaid. The other side of that equation is the folks who are now going to be um, buying into the individual insurance market. Healthcare really started to become effective with the development of penicillin. So somewhere, let's say, from the 1940s. It's just the, the method of delivering care and how we're organized and delivered hasn't caught up with uh, where we are uh, with science. What has been adopted, and we'll talk a little bit about it, is essentially we've been given permission as a country to start this change from a 19th century model to a 21st century model. It's going to take a long time, and it's going to be messy, just like the bill is messy. But from a delivery reform perspective, that's where we're aimed. Yeah, I think essentially, you know, the sort of watchword that we started this all out with was, if you like what you have, you can keep it. It was designed to create more integrated care so that people um, have an incentive to keep their patients healthy, but we have a lot more to do in that area. Yeah, the policy objective, which is going to be very difficult to achieve, is to make a primary care doc more uh, financially sound than a heart specialist. And there will be changes and benefit packages such as a, you've heard about the Safeway Amendment maybe you have, which is basically if you as a person uh, uh, you know, undertake certain behaviors like don't smoke, exercise, you know, keep your weight within a certain uh, parameter, you'll pay less for your benefits than if you do otherwise. There is a tremendous need for the elevation of family practice and primary care in order to improve the overall health of the, of the country. So you're absolutely correct. Well, thanks everybody for being here and sticking around. I don't know, Wayne, do you want to say some final words here? <laughs> it's May 6th, right? Oh, yeah. Can, wa oh, yeah. can Washington be fixed? Can Washington be fixed? <laughs> I can answer that one, right? Okay, yeah. <laughs> John, don't have to come next time. <laughs> So please, thank you all very much for coming. And again, a big hand for our panelists here. We'd love to have you guys keep coming back. And again, thank you.